Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now if you've just been playing Destiny then you may well have experienced that you were kicked from the game world. And the reason for that is because Bungie just dropped a new update, 1.2.0.2. And with it comes some very welcome changes and some nice updates. So as always I want to give you the rundown on everything you need to know. But in the event that you want to read it instead then I will also leave a link to the post in the description box down below. So let's begin by taking a look at the key highlights at the top of the post. This update clearly indicates that Bungie is indeed listening to everything we say. First up, the very first wanted Fallen Bounty completed each week is now guaranteed to drop a treasure key. So in other words, what that means is if you go to Petrovenge and you pick up one of her Fallen Bounties, then the first one you do each week is guaranteed to drop a treasure key. Moving on from there, Bungie have also greatly increased the drop chance for treasure keys from the small chests at the end of the Prison of Elders. Some of you may well have experienced that when you go to the treasure room, if you're not opening the big chests but you open the small chests, there has been up until now a very slim chance that you could get a treasure key. Well that's now been increased, so hopefully that should be a little bit more forgiving. And then lastly they've also increased the drop rate of treasure keys from ether chests. So again if you're going to go and try and farm them from ether chests, then your farming runs should be a lot more lucrative. Then moving over to changes to the Prison of Elders. I've already mentioned the increase of the drop rate of treasure keys in the small chests, so first up, class items will now drop from the level 32, 34 and level 35 Prison of Elders. In addition to that, they fixed a bug in which the ship, the Hildian Seeker, did not drop under certain circumstances. So for those of you that have completed the level 35 Prison of Elders and defeated Skolas, this should help you out if you didn't receive the ship. They've also fixed a bug in which the Elder Cipher bounty could not be acquired if your bounty inventory was full, meaning it will now go to the Postmaster if all 10 slots are taken. However, in the event that you have missed out in the past, you will still need to go back and defeat Skolas in order to receive an Elder Cipher. The damage caused by Quadron's Gaze has now been reduced by 25%, and they've also increased the multiplier on the Jailbreaker buff by 100%, which is massive and it's going to be extremely useful and it will make that fight so much more manageable. You may remember that last week a lot of people had trouble with the Quadron fight, especially saying trying to break out of the containment bubbles even with the Jailbreaker buff was extremely difficult, and heavily relied on having the right type of weapon. Well this should now make that a lot more manageable. Then next up moving over to the Trials of Osiris. First up they fixed an issue in which Trials of Osiris emblems were not sent to the Postmaster if your emblem inventory was full, and Passage Coins can now be dismantled. Then as for the Weekly Heroic, they fixed an issue where the Weekly Heroic Strikes did not award engrams, but do note that the tooltip will not display them as rewards. Then moving over to the general world side of things, firstly I've already mentioned the increased drop rate of treasure keys from ether chests, but some other changes coming to ether chests are firstly that they may only be looted once per spawn, so for those of you that have been farming them running back and forward out of zones, you can no longer do that. Ether chests will also no longer grant ammo consumables when opened, so hopefully we should be able to get rid of that surplus of special ammo synthesis. And also ether chests will now grant a small amount of Queen's Wrath reputation when opened. Lastly, ether chests will now also have a chance of dropping tokens of flight, identity and judgement. Then moving on to quests. Firstly, Petra will no longer display a quest waypoint for players who have not purchased House of Wolves. And they've also fixed a bug in which players abandoning the Gone to Ground quest were still being directed to the Venus Patrol. Then under weapons they fixed a bug in which the 1.2.0.1 hotfix mistakenly did not contain the 1.1.1 fusion rifle balance changes and as a result players have still been playing with pre 1.1.1 weapon balance stats. But as of this update the official update has now been applied. And then lastly onto the item side of things. Tokens of Flight, Identity and Judgement can now be dismantled to gain plus 10 House of Judgement reputation each. Also ammo consumables can now stack to 100. So there you have it, that my friends is it. Those are the changes that have been applied in the most recent 1.2.0.2 update. As mentioned if you do want to read any of these yourself then I'll leave a link to the post in the description box down below. But aside from that thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.